Hey y'all, this is Kim with Creative Escapades. Welcome to my channel and thank you for joining me today. Let's jump right into our video and see what we can create. I have this 12 inch vinyl record that I have already prepared by putting down a base coat of gold spray paint. I've taped the back of it and I got a piece of tape in the spindle hole here. And what I want to do is try to pour a resined dragon. And these are my swipe papers that I'm going to try to swipe with to make those little tendily things that come off the side of a dragon. And this right here is what I'm thinking as far as how I want to design it. I watched Doris of DF Designs do a dragon in resin uh, the other day and I was like, cool, a girl can do this. So I want to do one. <laughs> So the colors I'm using is um, Deco Art Satin Enamel White, and that will be the base coat over the gold. And I'm going to use this Just Resin um, HTD Fireball Red. And I have mixed in with the Fireball Red some of this primary elements. Blingit Red Sparkle. I think those look good together. And then I have some just Pinata Black Alcohol Ink. And then next I have this Resin Art Luster Pigment in Purple Galaxy. And then I have some more resin art, and this is Luster Pigment in Mermaid. And I actually used this um, with a, just a little bit of 91% alcohol to mix it up and dissolve the the powder so that it would mix well with the with the resin. And last but not least, I have Color Obsession 007 Gold. So let's get started. First, we're going to put down this um, white and I'm going to heat it up and then just use my hand and spread it all the way around and out to the edges. Make sure everything gets covered. I didn't put down a clear coat first. Um, I don't want this, once I get the to lay in the dragon pattern, I don't want it to move a whole lot. and even if I have to come back in and touch some stuff up, I don't want a lot of extra resin on this. Don't want it running off the edge. I don't want it to drip. And so I'm trying to use just the right amount. So here we go. And this is me practicing, trying to get down the swing of how I want this to go. So round, curve it down. It don't look too bad, except for I got a little skinny dragon. So let's see if we can fatten him up just a little bit. <laughs> Next, I'm going to do the Pinata Ink Alcohol Ink Black, and I totally missed that curve, but we picked it back up, so it's fine. And then next, I have the Purple Galaxy, and then the Mermaid. And then the gold. All right. So I'm going to heat it up just a little bit. And then I'm going to start with my swipe papers. And I had to stop and think several times. Okay, these little tendril things, they go this way here, but they go the opposite direction here. <laughs> so, uh, if you see me hesitating, that's me trying to remember, okay, where did this one go? Over, under, around? This is do I go opposite direction. <laughs> so, but it's working out, I think. So I want to blend some of the of it in. I still want the gold to be dominant, like the backbone of this dragon. 
and um, but I still want to be able to see some of those other colors so sometimes when I'm swiping I'm pulling the gold all the way through and it's kind of not staying where I want it to so I'll go back in with some more and um, just go over the top of it to make sure that I keep that because I wanted to show the kind of the okay this part of the dragon is over this part of the dragon it curls around this way you know so I want it to be kind of prominent on there Looks like you've been cut right there. <laughs> that red flame coming out. I don't know what that is. Uh, all right. And just keep going back and forth. I'm having trouble right here. And so I added a little more white to kind of break up these two swipes right there. And because um, I, I want it to stay defined. And it's easier if I turn the whole record around so that I can get the right direction that these little trendles are supposed to go. I have to stop and think about it. So I think he looks kind of like a dragon. I've never made a dragon before in my life, so this is kind of like really fun. And now I'm thinking, okay, so what do I need to do to make like the head look more like a dragon? And I'm thinking maybe um, it needs an eyeball. So that's probably what I'll do in the second layer is um, figure out how to add the eyeball and the details around the head. And for the tail, I decided I wanted to make it kind of pointy. I don't know, it just seemed to go with this, you know. So I'm adding a little more gold, go back over these areas where I've swiped to, again, make it really stand out. And heating it up a little bit. And I think it needs a little more defining around the edge of the head there. So I added some more red and heated him up a little bit so he doesn't look so skimpy. <laughs> And then I took um, my stir stick and I'm just kind of adding a little more black to a couple places where I want those trindles to really stand out and not just be wispy, but to kind of really be part of, of the whole overall design. I don't want them to fade away as it cures. I want it to stand out. I'm just touching up a few of these places here. And then I'm going to put him to rest and let him cure. And then try to figure out how to add scales or eyeballs or fire or something. So if you have any suggestions, leave it for me in the comment section. And let me know what you think. Does he really look like a dragon? Can I say I am a dragon slayer? I don't know. <laughs> But I want to thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed this, click like and share. And hope you'll join me again in part two of The Dragon Slayer. Bye-bye for